Well, hello, Cancer. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to pull from the top. This is going to be with love, romance, you know, uh, finance, whatever comes out, okay? So this is going to be for Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? I want you guys to see me shuffling. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is for Cancer. We have the Two of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay. Taking action on a decision here with the Ace of Wands and a lot of opportunities here with the Seven of Cups. Lots of opportunities. This is in multiple areas. I love this for you, Cancer. I love it. Um, you know, here with the Two of Swords, a lot of you have been stuck in one spot for a very long time. That Two of Swords is representative of way more than decisions with you. A lot of you um, have been in denial, and I, I think I just told another sign this, a lot of you have been in denial of your own abilities, things that you can do, things that you are able to do to change your situation. Some of you are in a position right now here with the Two of Swords where you have to make a decision about communicating with someone, about going to school, okay? Um, you know, here with the page of source, this talks about information. So this does have something to do with, you know, possibly studying. Um, but I love the fact that the Ace of Wands is here because let's say you have been feeling stuck. You have been uninspired. There is going to be something that's going to come in that's going to basically give you a big jolt. Okay. And you got the Ace of Wands and right after the Seven of Cups, I mean, huge opportunities coming, coming in for you in so many areas of your life. I see money, I see moving, I see uh, love, okay? So there's a lot here. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are gonna have different people who, are, who will be interested in you. Now that could be a part of the decision that you may have to make in the future, okay? Um, there's someone very warming, charming, someone who could have, who could be very well off. Okay. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I do see that someone's watching you. You do have different people who are watching you as well online. Okay. Yeah. Someone far away here with the three of, three of wands. Someone has to make a decision. Look at this. All of these decision cards. Two of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, to me, all kind of share that same energy with like, what should I do? What should I do? Okay. And this is you as well, Cancer. Um, I do feel like, you know, with, as far as the money, some of you are in this position where you're multiple, where you're, you have multiple jobs. Okay. Because you weren't making enough with one. Okay. So you got a lot to do. You got a lot on your plate. This is going to be a calling for the universe. Um, you know, telling you to make sure you stay balanced because some of you are just, you're not getting any sleep. You're, you're not focusing on your health. You're going to have to stay well. Okay. Um, I do see here with the three of wands, there's decisions again, something that you're going to have to make about maybe, maybe moving. Um, but I just feel like some of you have been waiting for something as well, or, or maybe needing to make a decision about, yeah, something, a brand new start in some area. This could be a new love. This could be a new job. Moving, like I said, it's something here. Let's get this last card out. Sorry, I can't get it. <laughs> this is going to be for Cancer. So you're you got a lot that's going on, and so you're you're staying you're trapped in your own head. Okay, don't get trapped in your own mind. Um, I do feel like some of you could be trapped in a relationship. I'm not really seeing long term here. There's no Ten of Pentacles. There's no marriage energy, but some of you could be very well trapped in a connection and you want to explore your options. But again, here with the Eight of Swords, I just feel like it just has something to do with confusion. It's just so much going on. It's kind of very busy here with the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. You could just feel overwhelmed. I do feel like some of you are just feeling overwhelmed, feeling like you can't get out of the situation that you're in. That's what I'm feeling here. But there is going, this is not going to stay. The Ace of Wands, I already said it. There's, there's not going to be any stagnation. There is going to be movement here. There's going to be things that's going to go down because we also see it here with the full card. New beginnings that's happening here. At the bottom of the deck, I just see um, something new, something different with your job. Okay. Let's see if I can get something, some more information here. This is going to be 
for cancer. Okay. Yeah, I told you, balance out here, Cancer, with that temperance card. I, ooh, I didn't know, realize all these came out. So I am seeing you being very, very tired. But like I said, look at all of this. Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands. Full card. I mean, it is. And then you got a breakthrough here. Listen, listen, this should have been here. I was, I don't know why I did that. So I am seeing there's going to be sudden change, good change that's going to happen here for you. I do feel like some of you are stuck in a marriage because there's the empress, okay? Some of you could be pregnant, okay? Maybe a decision about that as well. The call here is to, to think about what you need to do. Um, I, I feel like with the temperance card, it's just your emotions, all of that. You're going to have to start stabling out. But there's about to be a huge change. That tower is, that is meant to happen. Um, this tower is going to bring in something new, something fresh, opportunities here that could very well scare a lot of you, Cancer, just because of just the way it looks. It just the Eight of Swords feels like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get some oracles here for you. This is going to be for Cancer. I just see a lot of fear, it's a fear of a new beginning. I do see someone coming in wanting to talk to you. Yeah, exactly. Healing. Why? Because of that nine of wands, you're worn out. Maybe because friendships have not been well. Um, you know, your connections with lovers haven't been family. I love mastery here because it talks about you've learned so many spiritual lessons. That's also what you're seeing here with the um, temperance card. But like I said before, you're like, I'm getting tired of learning lessons. You know, like you're like, at this point, I'm just ready to have a... a expand and, and to be happy and stuff like that. That's where, lot, that's where a lot of you are right now. You're like, yeah, I learned a lesson, but I want the good stuff. All right. Leap of faith. Look at what this is coming out. Leap of faith here and here. So many things that you're about to go after and look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Abundance. Listen, you cannot make this up. Be careful with a strictly sexual connection. Some of you could be married and you love the sex with someone else. Or you could just be really wanting someone and they're just here, you know, and it's, let's say you're really, really liking someone there, the sex is good, you're liking them and you're stuck on them. But here with the seven of cups, the universe is trying to give you other options, you know, someone who's going to be more available to you. Some of you are at this place where you need to be open and available to new things. I don't care how good the sex is or anything like that. It does look like there's obstacles in the way though. Let's go ahead. Let's get some cards here from this deck. This is going to be for this is going to be for cancer. Let's see. A lot of healing is needed because of what you've experienced, because of what has happened to you. Maybe starting from childhood. Okay. Maybe children, even something like that. I mean, you you are really needing to heal from a lot of pain that you have been through here. Okay, people mistreating you, treating you like an object, not being serious, abuse even as well. Forgive yourself. Some of you feel like, why did I allow certain things to happen? Some of you are really hard on yourself right now because, you know, you're not, you're starting to get to where you want to be. Yeah, I see main woman. You're, you're getting to where you want to be, but you feel like you've taken, you took too long to, to realize what you need to do. Some of you are at this place. Um, I do feel like there is, you're dealing with someone who's possibly married or has another, another person. And this is why Strictly Sexual is here. You want someone who's going to love you and not just be here just for the chemistry. But that's up to you, right? Look at that. Love Strike is hitting the tower. There's something that's going to come in here that's going to literally... This, this is going to shock you. There's new love here. There's that wear and tear. Your heart is just so bruised. You're so hurt. You're trying to heal. You're trying not to be in denial of your circumstances that you've experienced, of the circumstances or the things that you need to do. There is definitely going to be love entering in your life when you least expect it. Very passionate connection here. I do see that there is some type of codependency though. But you got true love here. 
I think I told you that last time that there's going to be a true love coming in here. I do feel like for some of you, there's someone from the past that wants to come back in just to finish up a cycle. I don't think it's going to last. I feel like it's just going to be one of those things just to, you know, get closure. Okay. Because there is new love here. But this is what I have for you here, Cancer. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.